Hi, my name is Aniwat t a n e c h a n u r a t a lecturer in nano engineering program at ISC, and the chairman of Nano Curriculum Committee. Hi, I am Jalal a k m i k a w a k i t I'm also a lecturer in nano engineering program ISC. I'm pleased to have this chance to give you more ideas of what nano engineering is about, and why it is one of the key fields of study for the current technology world. Nano engineering is the, the engineering field focused on the study, development, and refinement of materials at a very small scale. The word nano denotes one one billionth of the unit in question. For context, a human hair is almost 100,000 nanometers in diameter, and a strand of DNA is typically less than three nanometer in diameter. A man-made product that's small, tinier even than a bacterium, might not seem like it would be strong enough to make any difference in the real world. However, like the DNA strands mentioned previously, nanomaterials deploying in a large group have a very profound effect. Just to give you a few examples of the real-life products that. Utilize the nano engineering knowledge. Filters that can treat air and water more efficiently by using nanofibers. Solar cells that can produce electricity from the sunlight can be even made flexible and can be integrated to any parts of buildings, cars, or even fabric. The lithium-ion batteries. That can store enough electrical energy for a long-range drive for your EV cars. Another example of how to use nanotechnology in our daily life, such as we use the silver nanoparticles, which has antimicrobial properties, in the hand wash or the bandage to kill the bacteria. And also for the girls who love s cosmetic, we use titanium nanoparticles, which is considered to be the UV protective element in the sunscreen. And also, there are many brands they promote to use nanoparticles in their substance to make it absorb further, deeper into our skin layer. For the sport guys, uh, we use carbon nanotube, which is a material that is stronger than steel, a hundred times stronger than steel, but much lighter. So it is an ideal material to be used for the sport equipment, such as bike and tennis racket or the badminton racket. In the healthcare system, this day we use a lot of nanotechnology in the healthcare system. However, many of them are still under the research, such as the drug delivery. For the drug delivery, we deliver the drugs into the some specific location. For example, to kill the cancer cell or to treat the disease directly at the specific location, without any harmful to other part of the body. Another example is to develop the non-invasive medical devices, which can be used as diagnostic tools or to treat the disease directly. With the non-invasive tools, there is not going to be involved with the needle, so the patient will not be painful at all. As I say, they are still under the research, so there are still plenty of room left for us to fill in to be the part of this new technology for the healthcare system. Our school would like to have the students, so we can prepare them to have a good background, good knowledge, and good skills, so they can work in the company or in the research area. Because there are still a lot of needs of human power to use the nanotechnology to improve the quality of life in our society in many ways. Nano engineers direct the manufacturing of these nano materials and utilize them in various novel applications. All of these are what you are going to learn in detail in our program. <laughs>